hello my friends and welcome to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you easter front porch decorating ideas i want to give you guys some um, ideas on how to decorate your front porch if you live in colder areas and can necessarily use real flowers at this time with easter being uh, so early this year um, i thought this would be a fun video to make guys and welcome to another decorate with me video as you can see today I am going outside and taking the rest of the Christmas decor off I have been waiting for my planters to defrost so I can actually pull everything out I still had the let it snow sign out and I thought it was appropriate to take it down because we do not want it to snow anymore so uh, that's what I'm doing first is just uh, cleaning up my front porch getting things off of it and um, starting with a, a blank slate if this is your first time stopping by welcome my name is Sonia welcome if you're returning um, if you are brand new uh, my over here on my channel you will find lots of decorating and cleaning inspiration with some organization sprinkled in so if this is something that interests you make sure you press the subscribe and, and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads so when I was taking apart this greenery I saw that the boxwood was still looking really really good so I have decided to just keep it and maybe try and reuse it in some of my Easter decor because it's still way too early to be planting flowers here I live in Ontario Canada and we're still even tomorrow supposed to be getting snow so I uh, d don't want to plant any flowers that might die I will probably be doing that in my at the end of the month so also want to mention make sure you stick around if you are a creator till the end of this video so you don't miss out a special invitation that I have out for all the creators so like I was saying um, I get rid of the green most of the greenery but I am keeping the boxwood and then I thought I was gonna keep the magnolia leaves as well and of course I keep all the um, fall flowers like the berries and then there I had a couple wood uh, pieces in there as well that I keep the sorry I have a dog drinking water right beside me the um, birch pieces um, they stay in um, pretty much uh, for the winter and spring season well for the yeah for winter and spring season I keep those in there and just decorate around them Sometimes if things look really good that I'm pulling out, mostly boxwood, um, sometimes there's eucalyptus leaves if I use them, and magnolia leaves, I will even save them and reuse them next year for some, just to add some dry flowers in my decor. Um, I have done this for several years and it had worked out. Sometimes I'll spray a little bit of hairspray over them just to keep the leaves intact. I just think it's great to be able to uh, take something and use it over and over for a while and even if it's a natural product that's why I do you like to use a lot of wood pieces and wood decor because I can reuse it over the over time I have two of these large pots on my front 
porch as well as a wash bin that I have decorated. So I will be taking all of those apart. So to add some life and color to these planters, I am adding some pussy willows as well as um, the dogwood. Um, I have these, all of these had come from Dollarama and I just love the punch of color that this brings on to the front porch and at this time it's, I feel like you really, really need it. I do not put anything around it. Like I said, it's just I find that it is a little too early and uh, the frost and the cold would kill anything that I plant. I do, however, uh, uh, add some of that boxwood from the planters in it just to fill it up a little bit. And here's the wash ba uh, ba bin that I have and I just needed to uh, lower it a little bit. I was finding that without the, gr the greenery from Christmas it was a little bit high. But I like having these heavy stones inside this wash bin because otherwise the wind would just pick it up and blow it away. And in here I pretty much take the same approach in decorating as the bigger one except I don't put as many... Um, dogwood flowers in it more I go more with the boxwood Since I am decorating this front porch technic technically for Easter, I will be adding my Easter wreaths over here. And I, But before I do that, I just wanted to give my ugly door a wipe down. I also have this um, sign that I had made DIY over on my DIY channel. Um, I think it was uh, last year year or the year before I'm not quite sure uh, and um, it, it is an Easter sign I just I love the way it looks and I think it's a great addition to my front porch my reeds had come from a local uh, nursery a few years back I was very lucky and I ended up buying them in I think it was like May or June and they were on clearance for like $13 for both of them. And I thought, <laughs> I must have been like my luckiest day that day to find these. Because I've been looking for these um, egg wreaths forever. And I think this was before my DIY channel. And I felt so lucky that I had found them. Maybe you don't want to know. I was trying real hard for uh, my dogs not to run out every time I open the door. I have two puppies, if you didn't know. One is a one-year-old Bernafi, and the other one is an actually a very different breed. It, he is uh, His breed name is Tornyak. He does come from, I think, Bosnian mountains, but he is uh, considered a Bosnian Croatian shepherd. And everything's okay. Next, I move on to the floor of my front porch and I am adding my Hello Spring sign and uh, mat that I had DIY'd actually just a couple weeks ago using my Cricut machine. I will have the video, all the DIY videos linked in the description box in case if I forget and you really want to see it, make sure you remind me that I forgot because that description box sometimes gets the best of me. I also added my wood bunnies and then I'm going to add my DIY pillows. So pretty much all the decor aside from the flowers, I have DIY'd. Even that chair I had upcycled. 
I was looking at that chair with that pillow and I wasn't quite sure if I was loving it so I ended up going and getting a blanket and another pillow just to kind of play around with it and see how I liked it. I don't want to put too many things right now onto that chair because it is raining quite a bit because it's spring and uh, didn't want to have to deal with wet things but um, decided that the blanket was a little too heavy for the season so I just ended up just sticking with that one pillow. Now moving on to the side because my porch goes kind of in an L. I have the sitting area, another sitting area that needed some major dusting and wipe down. So that is what I'm doing first before I decorate it. I'm not adding too many pieces as far as the core goes here. We do enjoy our morning coffees. Well, I'm not sure how many morning coffees we're going to actually enjoy here with two dogs whining on the other side. And I do have leash out front for them, but it's too muddy for them to hang out on my front lawn right now. So I'm adding this basket and to the basket I've added uh, some boxwood. Well, first I started with boxwood, then I decided not to use the boxwood, but I'm adding moss to the bottom and then I'm going to add tons of uh, colored eggs. I just thought this looked so pretty, um, a basket of eggs. And then I finished it off with my solar lantern and that's it. I didn't make quite the mess with that moss on the bottom. Well, here it is. Uh, let me know uh, what you think. Um, do you think it, I brought life into my front porch after the winter? Um, make sure you stay until the end of this um, because there's a special invite at the end if you are a creator and um, like I said let me, know, uh, let me know in the comments what you think what you like the most and I'll just leave you to the tour friends and welcome I am out here going to be decorating my front porch for Easter uh, and as you can see it's snowing outside I'm wearing a winter coat it is end of March uh, we have a couple weeks before Easter I still have all of my winter front porch decor stuff here so I wanted to change it up kind of brighten it up a little bit because it is kind of crummy out here we are going to be away next week so I wanted to get it done so that way when I come back, I come back to 
brightness because I will be coming back from sunshine. So I wanted to, uh, yeah, decorate it, get it all spruced up for Easter. I will have a spring front porch decorating me later once all of this bad weather is gone and we can actually maybe do some planting uh in the pods and actually leave some plants out so they survive and the frost is gone and all that stuff so for now i have lots to clean up so i'm going to turn the camera around and show you what i what my plans are first so as you can see i still have uh all of my winter decor out this is not the christmas decor because i did have christmas stuff out and in january i had cleaned it up and just left some of the greenery so this is what the greenery looks like in at the beginning of april pretty much end of march so it's pretty much done no more green it all turned yellow and dried but i am gonna get it all packed up and then uh, switch out some decor. I'm going to be switching out all of this because all of that needs to be put in away. So I'm going to get started with the cleanup. I know that I haven't been who I was. I am supposed to be the one you can trust. I feel so useless cause I let you down I hope there's some way I can make it alright Cause I know that you deserve much more than this If you give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there And I Usually I like to give a front porch a wash between the uh, switching out for the seasons but it was way too cold for that and I'm pretty sure the water still wasn't turned on in the um, for outside so I just swept up all the mess and um, cleaned the doors the glass on the doors that's about as far as I went with the deep cleaning. So once the deep clean was done, I proceeded on decorating my pots. And again, because it is still very cold, um, it was, I think, minus six, feel like minus 16 <laughs> as I'm decorating for Easter and spring outside. Um, so I cannot put any plants because they will all die. So I'm just resorting to putting some artificial plants, uh, some of this yellow dogwood, which I think it looks really nice. And then I'm just going to add a couple pussy willows in between and as you can see i am keeping those birch branches on i've been decorating this way for a while so if you've been following along for a while you've probably seen this before Speaking of following along, if you are stopping by my channel for the very first time, welcome. My name is Sonia, and on this channel, I share tons of decorating inspiration as well as some cleaning motivation. And coming your way this summer will be tons of home reno ideas. So if this is something that you think you might enjoy, make sure you hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss on any of the uploads. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high I also decided to decorate this small pod This is just a pod that um, I think 
certain plans came in maybe some uh, months in fall i can't really remember so i'm just going to add in this one some dogwood as well as pussy willows and then i'm going to also add my little diy bunny as well as a little bird's nest in and i think it just looks so cute and such a easterish spring little setup even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground So in this corner, I wanted to create a little, uh, not a vignette, but a little setup. And so I'm adding this hippity hoppity sign that I DIY'd on my DIY channel as well. And also a little lantern and adding this uh, moss bunny up here as well. All of these items I have DIY'd over on my DIY channel and I will try and link them all up in the description box for you to check out if you want to make any of them yourself. On the doors i'm going to be adding my egg wreaths i've had these for several years i picked them up at a local nursery and i just absolutely love them even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my highs you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down I have to be very careful as to what I add here because we've had some pretty big winds and it kind of just picks up things and takes it all takes it with with it so in this corner I'm adding a basket and filling it up with some uh, artificial plants as well as um, some wood um, carrots for a little bit of weight in the basket and then I'm just going to add some more different types of carrots and uh, some eggs you can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So it is all done. I do love the way it turned out. I'm going to give you a little tour and I hope you had enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. And if you're not subscribed, I would love it if you press the subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you all so much for watching.
my friends and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you along as I decorate my front porch and I thought I showed my face today because I haven't done that in such a long time. So I'm going to be taking apart all of my winter greens and all the winter decor that I have had up since after Christmas. And I'm going to bring in some life and color because we still have a ton of snow and it's slowly melting. It's a beautiful day today. I only have a little bit of sunlight left. So I'm trying to squeeze this in at the end of the day to record it. So I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna take all the greens out, clean it up, and then I'm going to decorate it, like I said, for spring. Uh, for Easter actually. There is going to be a spring decorate with me later when I can actually add flowers. I'm going to start off by removing all the greens out of the pots uh, and putting them in the compost bags for the garbage to take them. I don't think they're ready to take them yet but uh, they will be ready when they are ready. I think they start collection April 1st. And then I'm going to get rid of all the winter decor, sweep up, and then start decorating. I just want to say if you're stopping by my channel for the very first time, welcome. My name is Sonia, and here on this channel you'll find lots of decorating ideas and, motiv and cleaning and organizing motivation. So if this is something that you think you might enjoy, I would love it if you considered subscribing, pressing the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. I have already shared my spring home tour, spring and Easter home tour, which I will link up in the sky so you can check it out if you want to see how I decorated inside of my house. I know that I haven't been who I was. I am so I'm just adding a little bit more dirt into these pots just to raise it up because I have these bunnies that I want to put in there and I need it to be a little bit higher. Be the one you can trust. I feel so useless because I let you down. I hope there's some way I can make it all right because I know that you deserve much more. The front porch definitely could use some pressure washing, but like I said, the weather's not quite there yet. I'm worried that it would freeze overnight, so I am just sweeping it up for now. And here is the wreaths that I'm going to be using for my front doors. I've had these for a while, and my other one, because I have two of them, kind of looks like it needs a little bit of TLC, so I might uh, see if I can find some eggs to add to, to it. The wind can be quite strong, especially in springtime, so I think that's what happened to this wreath from last year. Because there is so much snow and there's going to be a ton of melting, I do need some sort of a mat here, but I didn't want to put any of these brown mats. So I did make this one, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, and it's just so much better for mud, muddy paws especially. Um, it doesn't show mud as well as the other, the other ones would. So for spring, this is the mat I'm going to be using. Then, then I brought out my big sign. I DIY this over on my DIY channel as well several years back and I am going to switch that out with a chair uh, just because I think um, there's less chances of it being blown out of the corner than over leaning in the edge of the by the door because that would go 
uh, flying off. And then another DIY that I have that I'm using is my pillow cover. I use my Cricut to make this pillow cover as well as some drop cloth from Dollarama. And um, I just love the way this pillow turned out. I did do this, I think it was last year or the year before on my DIY channel. So if you want to see any of those these DIYs make sure you check out the Easter and uh, spring playlist over on my DIY channel and you can find all of these in there and so many more but you're not good enough but you're all I need I take your places that you've never now because it is too cold um, and I cannot add actual real flowers into my pots I saw this idea on several different Pinterest pages and I thought I put my own spin on it and kind of recreate somewhat of what that looked like so I had these um, what are they called the wine uh, vine vine that wine <laughs> vine um, wreaths um, because I bought new ones for my um, fall decor so I took these apart they used to be my fall ones and I am using them now in here and then I'm adding some forsythias as well as some willow branches in here and then I'm also going to add some f fake greenery and some bunnies then I would give you the world if you let me try again yeah just give me one more chance I swear I'll try my best to always be there and I I think this turned out so cute. I think it's a great addition, a great thing to use for Easter when you can plant flowers. And then once Easter's done, it should be warm enough that I can add maybe some pansies or some um, other uh, flowers that can withstand frost. Another DIY that can be found on my DIY channel is this basket, a uh, hanging basket. Uh, I did this several years back, so I'll see if I can find it and link it. So I wanted to add some fall flowers to it, just springtime. So I kind of played around with what I wanted to add. <laughs> stuck in the mud let's pack up a life baby and call it a night cause the longer we stay here the harder the fight i said hey yeah 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 call it a start by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts i said hey the past goodbye 
So I do think I like the way this is turning out. I know sometimes in my case I can make things look a little bit tacky, but I think this was just right. I really like all the spring colors in it and the addition of carrots just gave it that extra color. So I would love to know what you guys think. It's all done. It's very simple, very minimal in my opinion, but I love it the way it looks. It looks open and airy and fresh for spring. I also want to mention just before I leave because I know somebody will say something I do have a non-smoking sticker on my door that is new and it is because I had just recently got a license to run a home daycare and the whole property has to be smoke and vape free so that's what the stickers are therefore they're here and on my side door so like i said don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me down in a comment let me know what you think and i will see you all in my next video thanks so much for watching In our hearts, I said, hey, yeah.